In this video, I'm going to create a histogram, a percent polygon, and a cumulative percent polygon. I have the calories of 50 domestic beers placed in a worksheet in Excel in column A with a heading of calories. First, we will create a frequency distribution by using a pivot table. I'm going to click on the Insert tab and Pivot Table. A pivot table creation box is placed under the worksheet, and I'm going to click in the column with the data and it's placed into the creation box. We will put the pivot table on the existing worksheet. So we'll click on the existing worksheet and then give Excel a location or give the uh, pivot table a location on the worksheet by clicking on any cell on the worksheet and it places it in the location box and then click OK. Our pivot table designer opens with our field of cal calories uh, listed and I'm going to grab the field and drag it down into values and then grab it once more and drag it into rows. Okay, that places the pivot table onto the worksheet with a count of the calories. If your values appeared, for example, as a sum instead of a count, what you would do is click on the sum of calories under values, the drop down box, and then click value field settings, go to count and then click OK. Since we're creating a frequency, frequency distribution, we want to group our information. So click on any cell under the row labels and then right click and go to group. Okay, a box opens showing the lowest value in our data set and the highest value, and then the width of our classes. And we're, I'm going to uh, change that width from 10 to 20, and then click OK. This creates our frequency distribution. First, I'm going to highlight the information, copy and paste it to another location in the worksheet. I'm going to give the columns a heading. I'm going to call the first column calories. And the second column, I'm going to call it frequency. I'm going to show you two methods of creating a histogram. The first method is I'm going to highlight our data, go to insert, and then move over to the charts box and select the column icon. And then choose the first icon on the top row on the left in 2D column. Okay, this creates a column graph and a histogram has no gap between the bars. So I'm going to right click and go to Format Data Series. and then close the gap width to zero. And exit out of the, that box 
and our histogram is created. I'm going to change the name. I'm going to call it histogram of calories. And then I'm just going to move it to another location on the worksheet. Next, I'm going to add a blank column between calories and frequency. So I'm going to click on the number to highlight the frequency column, right click and insert, and then in, that inserts a blank column and I'm going to insert one more column. Okay, now I'm going to label the first column that I inserted as bins. In the next column I'm going to label it as midpoints. The pivot table organized our data into classes. So for example the first class has a lower boundary of 55 and an upper boundary of 74. The second class has a boundary of 75 to 94 and the frequency shows us the number of values that are in each class. For the bins we want to place in the bins the upper class values. So the first bin is going to be 74 and then the next bin I'm going to type equal and click in the above bin with 74 and then shift plus to enter the plus sign and then enter 20 and enter and now I'm going to go back into the cell with 94 and move my cursor to the bottom right hand corner of the cell till it changes shape. Hold my left mouse button down and drag the uh, drag down and it will fill in the bins. Next we want to calculate the midpoints. The midpoint is the center point of each class and we determine that by entering an equal sign, a left parenthesis in the first class has a lower value of 55 plus the upper limit of the class is 74. Close my parenthesis, divide by 2 and enter. So the midpoint of the first class is 64.5 to enter the midpoint of the second class I'm going to enter an equal sign click in the cell above the cell that I'm in enter the addition sign and 20 and enter that enters the midpoint of the second class now I'm going to move back into the cell that I just left grab the fill handle and drag down and that enters the midpoints of all of my classes. Next I'm going to go up to my toolbar and click on add-ins and then click on phstat, descriptive statistics and scroll over to histograms and polygons. The first box asks for the variable cell range and so I'm going to highlight my values here or my data of calories. I'm going to just scroll down so I capture all of that information and that places it in the first box. The next box asks for the bins. I'm going to click on the box and then enter the bins 
and then enlarge the icon. And then the midpoints, I'm going to highlight the midpoints. And we have a single group variable. And we're going to create a histogram, a percent polygon, and a cumulative percent polygon. So we're going to put a check mark in all of those boxes and hit OK. Okay, this creates a histogram of our calories and plate has placed it on a new worksheet. And it created a percent polygon and place that on a separate worksheet and a cumulative percent polygon also placed on another worksheet. I'm going to copy and go back to my initial worksheet and then paste the cumulative percent polygon. It's a little large so I'm going to resize it by grabbing the corner and just holding my left mouse button down and then dragging it to the size that I want it to be and then I could move it where I want to in the or on the worksheet then I'm going to go to the percent polygon tab and copy and paste that into the previous worksheet and resize it as we did the previous graph. Grab it by the corner, hold the left mouse button down and drag it to the size that you want it to be and you can move it to the location and now let's check our histogram we we're going to copy and I'm going to place that on the worksheet to show you that both of the histograms look the same and so as you can see the histogram that we created with the column icon is the same as the histogram that's created with the pH stat. That concludes this video and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.